Look at this man. Who is this? Who are you? Hi! Woo! Why are you so excited today? Rest day of the becoming Yayo. <laughs> Alright, we managed to get Boding, become his moments away from the house. We're going on a little afternoon Saturday road trip to somewhere we haven't gone yet together on bikes, so we'll see you on the road. So many motorellas. Anyways, we're on the move. Uh, the clouds are looking a bit sketchy, but it's all good. It's about 12 o'clock, 12.30, Saturday afternoon. I gotta catch up to the guys. We're headed off uh, to Manolo Fortich. That's all I know. Ah, uh, Libona. All right, welcome to Libona. Literally in 10 minutes. We've already got to Bukinon. This is now crossing into Bukinon. It's a dog. I guess. <laughs> you just gotta do this. I guess. Alright, power on. <laughs> Libona. We're taking a back route up to uh, to Bukinon. We're gonna try and find our friend's coffee shop. There's a new shop that opened up and uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. So bring on the road. So this is really interesting. Uh, it's not open yet, but check this out. Oh man, are you already? <laughs> I, I've, I've been jamming my first set. No way, you jamming? Is this, is this open yet? No. Wow, what are you doing, Brad? Uh, later, uh, we have an open mic, uh, maybe. Five, around five years. Five so five we've years. stopped at a place. This is gonna be a coffee shop in the future. It isn't done yet. But, uh, all right, hit it. We'll do some freestyle. You just give me a beat. Oh, yeah, we're strolling on Saturday, and everything's okay. Cause I'm with becoming moments every day. Sometimes I just I can't do this right now. <laughs> Anyways, check this out. This is gonna be a cool Kauaian coffee shop uh, on the peak here. Maybe only 15 minutes, 20 minutes from my house. I'm excited. Look. Wow, nice concept. Ah yes, Mister. Very, very cool. This is an awesome concept for a coffee shop. Wow, and the view. All right. Sweet. Well, I know where I'm coming back when this is done. This is gonna be a cool place. Come, Mister Paulo. This is Paulo. Uh, turns out this is your place. Yeah. When are you opening? Can you say we're gonna break? Five o'clock. Oh, you you already open? Yeah, we already open. Ah. Uh, today we're just closed because we're just making some renovation here. Ah, okay. So see, later, see. maybe five o'clock we will open. Oh, so you guys are open in the evenings. Yeah. It's like a coffee shop, time yeah, buy-in. Yeah. Yes. Tambayan. And then you're building this lookout thing. Yeah. Cool, man. Now you know. This is where I'm gonna come in the future when it's totally done, and maybe even uh, when evening. Listen, man. Good luck. Catch you soon. Let's go! Open mic, Siggy. Let's where go. are we going? We're going to... Manolo? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think Manolo. We'll figure it out. Wow. Oh, it's so nice in here. No way. Oh, you even... Cool. Nice spot. <laughs> Sorry, I just like... What is this? Brad, Boding. The Cummins Romans. You know, spread the love, man. This is the Kondi. The bar. This is the bar. I'm gonna come back. That's so rad. This is this is technically is this is this Libona already? Yes, part of the. Uh, so this is already booked on. Mm. Wow. I like that spot, man. I look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Safety first, guys. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> through a place called Kinawe. Uh, I believe it's part of Libona and you can see a lot of ranches here. Uh, this is actually an area where there's lots of cowboys, lots of uh, horses and a lot of cattle or cows kicking around. It's very flat and then you see a mountain range on the side. Very cool area. to pave this road. This is about seven kilometers outside of uh, Libona proper. But it's still fine to drive anyways. Actually ever stopped here. This is Libona. It's uh, the first municipality if you take the back door out of Kegi and Dioro, right next uh, to Camp Phillips area. That's why you can see a lot of pineapples are coming up soon. And uh, the land here, very flat, just a few little mountain ranges around, but uh, lots of cowboys, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. And the road is actually quite fun to drive, so we're going to carry on. Uh, it's going to bring us to Manolo Fortich and back towards the main highway area as if you're coming through Bukidon. So, Libona. Libona. I'm just watching birds fly amongst pineapple fields. Today is a good day. <laughs> What's it meaning, ya bug? Ya bug? Yeah. You're going crazy. You're going crazy. Word of the day, ya bug. What is it ya actually? Bug, is it yeah. Basaya? Oh. Oh, Basaya, ya bug. Ya like when you go crazy. So this would be ya bug, like this? No. Is that, is that ya bug? It's like guitar out of tune. It's called ya bug. Ah, it's like when your guitar is out of tune, ya bug. Yeah, <laughs> or like what I just did in the pineapple fields. So as you can see, I'm back in pineapple fields. I've been showing you guys pineapples for years now here in Bukidnon. But I want to share with you a true story. So in the Philippines, especially when you're learning the language or you're picking up words, sometimes you can screw up. And I'm not even joking. Five years ago, somebody asked me, they're like, hey, what do you think of Bukidnon? Because I just made one of my first trips ever up to Manolo Fortich. And uh, I said, oh, it was, really, it was really awesome. And I knew a few words then. I knew Lami means delicious. And then I thought I knew the word for pineapple. I said, oh, it's so nice. There is lami pi pinai everywhere. So many lami pinai. But obviously I didn't realize I was saying pinai, not pina. The word for pineapple is pina. Pinai means girls. So I was saying, oh, there's lots of delicious girls everywhere. But obviously you can make mistakes. Filipinos understand. But uh, true story, daghan lami pina. 
Not Pinai, okay? You're dead. I would be dead. Sakto, huh? You're dead. I would be dead. No, I was okay though. I'm okay. I'm not, they, people understand. You screw up. Pinya and Pinai, they sound very close. So be aware. Be, be slow. Aware. We're the live CTV. CCTV. Be careful. <laughs> no, I'm not talking. I'm, jo I'm just explaining a story. I'm not, I'm not actually talking about lots of girls. Come on, in, yeah. <laughs> Sad guy on a rainy yeah, day. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm not used to Wanda. Travel alone. And we're stuck. The family. What are these Getting, I'm getting a, I'm getting a quick roasting lesson from my buddy here. <laughs> Basically, my friend JP in Valer, this is his brother. They just opened up this cool cafe called Lamplighter, and uh, this is green coffee beans from Lantapan. But uh, when they're roasted, they actually look like this. Yeah. They 
smell really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some from him. <laughs> this is Nico, basically my, my friend JP, this is his brother. Uh, he's been living here in Bukano now for a while. And they opened up this little kind of cafe coffee shop. But it kind of serves two purposes. They're here with the grinder. One is they obviously serve coffee. And then two, they, they actually like distribute uh, coffee making machines. Yeah. But, but the, the coffee itself, uh, Nico was saying how uh, he actually roasts it, right? You yeah. Yeah. But uh, sometimes you experiment, and yeah. sometimes it's... It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but, like but any stuff. experiment, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. <laughs> but, but, he, but he actually serves good stuff here. And, uh, and your coffee is sourced from... From local. local. Okay. From local farmers. Nice, so if you want to come check out, this is just a new coffee shop. We actually were just, we were just riding around today and we just decided to come here. So I just want to show you guys this. It's called Lamplighter Cafe and it's just by the Buka Non sign. It's over there. And you can just pull in and drink coffee. Just order the good coffee. Don't, don't ask me to, to make you bad coffee. <laughs> Anyways, no need more coffee. We're still drinking. Oh, no way! Enjoy it. Right. Morning, what are you doing, man? Maybe it will rain. Just in case. Because I'm alarm. Meanwhile, Kumar packs up his. It's not gonna rain, man. Morning just likes the style. Okay. Oh no way. How much is that, Pila? Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Tempting. So have like an uka uka garage sale. Oh, it is a toaster. Brad, did that fit you? Hey, Try it, Brad. Here. Daddy. Here. If this fits him, I'll buy it. I'll be daddy. You think it fits? It's small. 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 Checkpoint. It's basically the only checkpoint that exists anymore at Kegi Dioro. It's on the main highway. And ever since 2017, when they declared martial law, you gotta pass through it. So it usually doesn't take long, but there's lots of people today on a Saturday. It's like a party. Salik Lug! Oh, it's been a while now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I like your bike though, honestly, it's dope. Yes. Victory. 